più drei farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano. You're probably already aware that the Xbox Series S controller and also the Xbox Series X controller will work fine with the Xbox One, the older generation of console. Also, Xbox One controllers will work fine on the Series S and Series X. But what else do these work on? Let's find out. If you're wondering if it will work with your mobile phone, the answer is yes. Here we have it connected to a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and you can see it works fine. Doesn't appear to be any more lag than the previous controller. Let's move on to another one. Xbox Series X on the PlayStation 4 working as a wired controller. Not as easy as the Xbox One to set up. For example, the Brook adapter here, that's going to need an update before that one works. But I've got it working in the Titan 2 there and I'm using the PlayStation 4 controller for authentication. Otherwise, what will happen is it would just disconnect every, I think it's about nine minutes. So let's play a little bit of Fall Guys. The four guys are just loading up and I've just got my son here with me. If you hit the share button, nothing happens on this one here. So here we are, they're off. This is my son playing. It's nice to see Xbox and four guys working together on something, even if it is via a PlayStation 4 console. <laughs> You're doing well. Mm. Yes. You're doing really well. Nobody's finished yet. Mm. I'll see if you can be first. Oh, 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 that was close. Do it for the Series X controller. Go on. No! Does the Xbox wireless adapter for Windows still work? Yes, plugged it into the PC here, synced up straight away. Let me show you a bit of gameplay. There you go, so you can see that that works fine when you're using your Xbox games on your Windows 10. If you're wondering if you can use the same accessories on the bottom of the controller, the answer is yes. If you look at the new controller here, they've done the bottom exactly the same and the same size as the older Xbox One controllers. So for example, if you were to plug in this little chat adapter here, you will see it still fits perfectly like so. And then after about five or ten seconds, you will see that it will liven itself up. There you go. So it's useful to know that you can use the old accessories with your new controller. If you're wondering if you can play your controller without batteries, the answer is yes. So you can plug in a USB-C cable directly into it from a USB port on the Xbox. And if you have a look here now, you can see it will sync up. And if we go up to the screen, you can see it moving around the place. And that's with no batteries in. Now, let's say if you didn't want to sit so close to your Xbox, of course, you can then plug this into a 5 volt supply. So if we were to plug it in here, you will see that although it's not connected to the Xbox, it's going to sync itself up wirelessly. So if I hit that one there, you can see now that we're synced up no batteries in it still and now we don't have to sit so close to the Xbox if we choose and you can see it's still moving up there. Here we have eight controllers connected to the one Xbox Series S and if we look up on the screen here you can see that it is still working. 
But now what happens when we connect up the ninth controller? So I've got one more here. So let's turn this one on, put it into pairing mode. All right, so that's flashing fast now. Let's go over here, press that. Let's see if it's gonna connect up. I know the limit's eight. I just wanna see what happens when the ninth one tries. No, there you go, it gave up. So now it says eight wireless controllers, but let's see what happens if we make it into a wired controller. So let's plug in a cable into the top and into here. All right, it gave a little vibration. Let's turn it on. No. So the limit is eight, whether it's wireless or wired, and using a mixture of Xbox Series S, Series X, and also Xbox One controllers. That's quite interesting to know. Let's move on. When it comes to connecting it to your PC via Bluetooth to play on, for example, Steam, then it was a little bit more effort. I had to connect up a USB-C cable into here. I had to download the Xbox Accessories app and then update the firmware on here. But right now it appears to be working. But remember, this isn't any long-term use. This is just a quick test to see what works and doesn't work. So if you have a look now, I can go into game, a little bit of centipede and uh, resume game. There we go. You're probably already aware that you can buy rechargeable battery packs for the new Series S and X controllers, but I want to know if they're the same as the old ones. The answer is yes. So if you see here, you can see it says three volts, 1400 milliamp hours, 4.2 watts. Now let's look at this one here, the Xbox One version that I bought shortly after it came out. And it says here three volts, 1400 milliamp hours, 4.2 watt hours and this will work perfectly in the new series X and S controllers. The problem is we can't charge it using the old cable because it's micro USB. So what you have to do is get yourself another one from for example your phone or your Nintendo Switch or something like that and then it will charge just fine. So this is the one from the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and when I plug it in here you will see the light will go out and come back on again. So now basically that is powering the battery there. Now if you're thinking, well there's no light on it, well, interestingly enough, on the new one there's no light anyway. So this is the official one that comes in the pack and there's no little LED to let you know it's charging. On the old one, we had a nice little LED to light up. Not the case on the new one. So yes, you can definitely use the old battery packs with the new controllers. For those of you wondering whether the Series S and X will work on a Nintendo Switch, the answer is yes, but it's not going to work natively. So I've had to try numerous different adapters down here. I've got loads of them to work wired, but not wireless. The closest I've got to is the Magic NS adapter here, the Mayflash one, and that will work wirelessly, but I can't get it to work yet. So I've updated to the latest firmware. It's in development at the moment, and it's supposed to work on it, but it's not for me. But give it a few more days or weeks when they iron things out, and hopefully it will work. Now, you're probably wondering whether the share button takes videos and pictures. No, when I go into the test input devices, it's not doing anything. So because it's the Magic NS adapter, you have to tap these two buttons here to do the capture and also hold them down to do the video. But maybe on a later update, they might be able to change that so it works with this one here. But let me just show you a quick bit of uh, Mario Kart. Now, this is plus and this is minus, in case you're wondering. And it does work nicely. Obviously, there's no motion controls because it's an Xbox controller. There's no noticeable lag or anything like that.
Right, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of fun seeing what works and what doesn't work on the Xbox Series S and Series X controller. Basically, what you need to take away from it is that pretty much most things that will work on the Xbox One controller will work on this controller here as well. So that is it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a massive thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos. Take care. Bye now.